Hey guys, if this is the first video you have seen of my return from a year long hiatus and were wondering what I was doing this whole time, then I suggest you guys watch the previous video where I explain everything. Anyways, in this video, I'll be talking about the seven demon lords. I have already made a trivia video about this group explaining everything about them. If you wish to know more about the seven demon lords, then I suggest you guys watch my previous video. So there is a new V pair which focuses on X antibody type Digimon and because of this new V pet many Digimon have gained an X antibody form and this includes the seven demon lords they all now have an X antibody form this might be old news to some of you guys but I just wanted to make a video on the seven demon lords X antibody now then let's talk about the X antibodies it seems that these demon lord type Digimon have gained a special ability in their new X antibody form this ability might also represent the demon lord crest also each of the demon lords incorporate their crest into their design except for Biazumon who incorporated the crest into its special attack the first demon lord I wish to talk about is probably the most popular demon lord Digimon Biazumon the reason I want to talk about him first is because Biazumon was the first demon lord type Digimon to obtain an X antibody form. All the other demon lords just got their X antibody form this year, while Biazumon had his X antibody form for a couple of years. Biazumon X was part of the original wave of X antibodies, and for this reason, its design or art style might be the most different when compared to the other demon lord type Digimon, as it's probably drawn by another artist. Like I said earlier, demon lord Digimon gain new special abilities because of their new X antibody forms. Biazumon X was granted the ability to summon El Evangelio which means the gospel in English and I find it amusing that the attack is the name of the original Christian message. Anyways, El Evangelio are crimson flames of the underworld capable of changing their form at will. Now I don't know if this means the flames can take the form of a creature like a lion. Perhaps it probably means they could simply move on their own. Anyways, El Evangelio are sentient flames that are used to impose judgment upon and offer salvation to the souls of the sinners that fall into the dark area. This is a pretty crazy ability. I've never heard of any type of firepower where the flame judges evil beings and Biazumon is an evil demon lord type Digimon. Under normal circumstances, Biazumon would have been completely eradicated by the flames and its Digicore would be erased, meaning he would never be able to be reborn as a Digieg. However, having assimilated the X antibody into his body, Biazumon is now able to suppress the will of El Evangelio and control them as if they were its own power without being burned by them. Overall, the El Evangelio flames seem to be an overpowered ability as they can wipe out any evil Digimon and erase their soul. It's a unique power and I wish we get to see it being used in a show or a game. Here is the comparison between Biazumon Blast Mode and Biazumon X. I decided to use Blast Mode as it's more similar to Biazumon X and I cannot decide which is better. Both look good in their own way. I also believe that if they had designed Biazumon X this year with the other Demon Lords, he would probably have a different design. I think they would have given him some gold or red armor. The next demon lord is the oldest looking one. He is the spellcaster and the magician of the group, Barbamon. This big nosed old man Digimon is the demon lord of greed. In its normal form, Barbamon has a staff and shoots his magic through the staff. Well, for its ex antibody form, he has fused its demonic staff with its right arm, making it look demonic. His arm is now linked directly to his magic, and it's said that he can now control its techniques more skillfully, which makes sense as before, you could only ever shoot it through its staff, but now it can use its hands to create special techniques, maybe use its arms like a martial artist. So, its magic has gotten stronger. This Digimon still loves collecting as he is the Demon Lord of Greed and when we see his fingers, they're covered in rings. It also has a new ability called Seventh Jewel Rise. With the crown of greed, it's able to transform the enemy Digimon's Digicore, which is their soul, into a jewel. But first, it must take the Digicore out of their bodies by using its demonic left arm. Because the jewels shine more the stronger a Digimon is, it assesses whether they are worth fighting. 
Now this is an amazing ability to show how greedy this Digimon truly is. He will turn others into jewelry and the stronger the Digimon, the more the jewel shines. So if he turned a weak Digimon into a ring, it would not shine. He would probably be annoyed and throw it away. And Babamon X seems to look more like a king than a wizard. And this could be because its X form's power might reference King Midas who could touch items and turn them into gold. And Babamon X could use its hand to rip out Digimon's souls and turn them into jewelry. Here is the comparison between Babamon and his X form. I like his X form more. He has new clothes, a demonic arm and even a new mask. And Babamon X seems to look more like a king than a wizard. The next demon lord is Daemon X. When looking at this form, it reminds me a lot of Daemon's super ultimate form. Maybe they wanted this X antibody form to be similar to that form. It could be a reference to the super ultimate form. As a result of its crown of wrath manifesting over its head due to it taking the X antibody, Daemon obtains a new ability. As its anger increases, it grows stronger. When its anger exceeds the limit, its power surpasses even that of a super ultimate Digimon. I believe this is one of the most overpowered abilities in the series because we know how powerful a person can be when they keep getting angry. The Hulk and Asura from Asura's Wrath become overpowered characters in their own respective series. Super ultimate Digimon are some of the strongest Digimon in the series and these consist of Omnimon, Alphamon, Apoclemon and Lusamon Satan mode. It's crazy to think that this new ability gives Daemon X the potential to surpass all these Digimon and it would probably become the strongest Digimon. Now the last and possibly his strongest attack is Infernal Burst, a finishing secret technique where it transforms into a blazing demon god enveloped in its flame inferno. It would be difficult for even the royal knights to stop Daemon once it has turned into a blazing demon god with a crown of wrath bursting into red hot flames. This would probably be the form it takes when it is stronger than a super ultimate level Digimon. Now here is the comparisons between Daemon, Daemon Super Ultimate and Daemon X. I like the Super Ultimate and X antibody designs more than the original. However the original does look more creepy. Next up we have the beast of the demon lords Leviamon. He is the biggest of the demon lords and he probably uses his massive mouth to try and eat the world. With its X antibody it has gained the ability to fly by spurting out excessive energy. It probably even uses the power of envy to fly which is quite amusing. It has now become one of the strongest Digimon in land, sea and air. They have become its feeding grounds. Leviamon will try to devour everything with its gigantic jaws. Its special ability is Seventh Lightning. When the Envy energy contained within Leviamon reaches its peak and the crown of Envy shines, it unleashes extremely intense lightning from its three horns, which is said to sink continents into the ocean. It's crazy that he can sink continents into the ocean with just the power of its Envy, and I love this ability. Here is the comparison between Leviamon and its X form. Everything is simply better in the X form. Leviamon's design changed the most when we compare all the other seven demon lords X antibody forms. Perhaps it might be a bit over detailed. It suits Leviamon who is the Digimon of Envy. So he would try to make himself look as great as possible and over design himself. Now we will be talking about the sole female of the group Lilithmon. She typically, like other women in different series, represents lust and is sexualized. She transforms into her X antibody form because she is obsessed with beauty. Her new X form makes her look younger, giving her a youthful, bewitching body. It is said that its appearance captivates everyone who sees it, instantly turning them into her puppets. Her special ability is Seventh Fascinate. She draws out power from the crown of lust to control others over a vast range. Digimon that have turned into its puppets have power drawn out beyond their limits. This makes these puppet Digimon stronger. However, this leads to their death after being controlled. Lilithmon itself watches with pleasure as their lights shine and fade away in their last moments. It's a great ability to control Digimon who fall for her charms and it suits her as she is the demon lord of lust. Here is the comparison between Lilithmon and her X form. I like the X form more. It keeps the same overall feel to the design, but feels classier with her new wings 
a new color scheme. It does not add any unnecessary things in the design. I love her butterfly wings and bat wings and the color scheme is gorgeous. Her X form is an upgrade in every way when compared to her normal form. This is similar to Barbamon. The X form makes them look better without making them look too different. Next up is the muscle of the group and the one who in my opinion should have been the demon lord of anger and wrath. Belfamon X. In this form, its destructive impulses have intensified and its instincts have sharpened. It will utterly and completely crush those it seeks to destroy. To me, Belfamon always seemed to be the berserker who does not bother using strategy and simply rampaging across the battlefield. However, in this X form, he actually uses a smart tactic. In a fight or war, he will first aim for and brutally pulverize the Digimon acting as the beacon of hope for the opposing army, crushing the hopeful hearts of the entire enemy faction. It then continues pounding on the opposing army, which has now lost its will to fight, until it is satisfied and has laid waste to the army. This is an amazing strategy as it makes it easier to defeat the now weakened army who have lost the will to fight. Its special ability is 7th Penetrate. It causes its crown of sloth to overflow with power and fires a crimson energy wave from its claws at maximum output. This might be the most generic ability from all the 7 demon lords. Now here are the comparisons between Belfamon Rage Mode and his X form. I kind of wanted his X form to incorporate his sleeping mode as well. It could have been a fusion of them both. The X form is even split in two, so the lower body could have been the sleeping mode. The design still looks great. However, I am surprised that they decided to give this form gold armor. It would be better for Barbamon to have gold armor. I am disappointed that they never gave Belfamon sleep mode its own X form. Belfamon is the demon lord which represents slot, so Belfamon sleep mode should technically be its true form as it's the lazy sloth Digimon. Now on to the last demon lord and the leader of the seven demon lords, Lusamon X. He might be the strongest of the demon lords. Despite being a demon lord Digimon, it possesses a pair of golden wings which shine like that of an angel Digimon. It may look like a holy angel Digimon, but looks can be deceiving as he is still evil. Not only does its appearance far surpass that of the old Lusamon, both its strength and intelligence have improved vastly from before. It has transformed into the perfect being that transcends even God, having gained the ultimate wisdom and power to do absolutely anything at will. Lusamon reigns in the digital world as an incarnation of destruction and creation. Its new goal is to destroy every single digital world that exists. He would probably even try destroying the different Digimon universes like Adventure and the Tamer universe. Now here is the comparison of Lusamon and its X form. Both are great, but I like the X antibody form more. The holy angel form suits him and gives him a divine feel. Originally, this was meant to be Lusamon X's concept art. Half of his body would be light, while the other half, darkness. And I'm glad that they chose the latest version. Lusamon and Daemon were known as the strongest from the seven demon lords, with the Lusamon becoming Satan mode and Daemon achieving his super ultimate form. With the new X antibody forms, Daemon has the potential to be stronger than a super ultimate level Digimon. And I do believe we will see Lusamon Satan mode have an X antibody form as well. And this form might possibly be stronger than a super ultimate Digimon as well. Also, another reason why I believe Lusamon and Daemon are the strongest would be because the seven demon lords appear in a V pair. It's called the Digital Monster X2. And there are two versions of this V pair the purple and red version. The main Digimon for the purple version is Lusamon, while Daemon is the main Digimon for the red version. This just shows how they are the most important and probably even the strongest of the Demon Lords. Now that we have seen all the Demon Lords X antibody forms and their power, I will give my opinion on who I believe has the best power from the X antibody Demon Lords. I believe Biazamon and Daemon X have the best special abilities. Biazamon can use his flames to destroy any evil Digimon and erase their soul, while Daemon could become so powerful that he would be stronger than a super ultimate and it would take many of the royal knights to even try to defeat him, making him one of the strongest Digimons to exist. Also, surprisingly, we have a new X antibody form for Ogudomon. 
He is the fusion of all the seven demon lords. This monster looks like an eldritch abomination. Its design is superior to its normal form. We can see how tall he is when compared to Omnimon X. There is no new information on his profile, so we don't know its special abilities and attacks. This monster might be one of the strongest Digimon to exist, since not even Alphamon X, Omnimon X, all the other Royal Knight and other Digimon in the digital world could not harm it and its presence alone was destroying the digital world. This Digimon appears in the story of Digimon Chronicles X. It's a great story. In this story, we see the seven demon lords and the royal knights in the X antibody forms. It's an interesting story and the chapters are still being released. I might wait until the story is complete before making a video about it. In this story, we get to see the royal knights fight the seven demon lords, something I'm sure all Digimon fans wish to see and I hope they make this into an animated movie or show. And that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I wish to upload videos more consistently. So I have given myself a new schedule and even a time limit. I'll be making these videos in order. The next video will be about Royal Knights X antibody forms. Then after that I might make a video about all the X antibody type Digimon and then finally a video about about Digimon Chronicles X. I'll try to make these videos in one month time and possibly make each of them every week. I apologize for the long hiatus and if some of you do not know I have started a Patreon and I give all the rewards only for one pound. I have even started a new Digimon series called Digimon Design Review specifically for Patreon. I have made one review so far for Centauruma. I'll be sure to add more design reviews. I hope you guys support the Patreon, it will really inspire me to carry on making videos and I would like to give you guys a challenge and this challenge would be if I can get 50 to 100 Patreons in this month I will upload videos consistently every week. It will keep me motivated to upload new videos. I'll be doing a Digimon design review for the 7 Demon Lords in the future and in the end I'll explain which of them is my favourite.